here's a quick little video I made on to take out the um, Coleman uh, check valve tube, which you can see right here. Check valve. Yeah. So what I did <clears throat> is I found an old chisel that is uh, hexagonal and uh, it's a half inch wrench will fit it. An old one. I have a bench grinder so uh, what I did is the tip I just grinded it and grinded it and then felt it against this and then I felt slop and I'll keep grinding it and grinding it until I felt that it there was no slop or slippage in there. Maybe you can see. Right there. <clears throat> so, uh, I thought I was okay. And uh, now the, the tip of, the, of a chisel is mushroomed out because you hammer on a chisel, so it's, you know, it's mushroom. So I took my bench grinder and uh, I grinded around the mushroom part till it was about smooth with this hexagonal part. And I took a half inch cheap socket <clears throat> and uh, hammered it onto this. Let's try to turn it around. And uh, like I said, I grinded this down till it fit that check valve pretty, you know, solid. <clears throat> And next I took this hex 3 8 inch uh, impact driver to um, socket and I just clicked it onto here. <clears throat> then I took my impact driver, plugged it on in, as you can see right there. <clears throat> so, you see it's... <laughs> A little sloppy but if you you handle it where where it won't uh, fuck up your cylinder pump <clears throat> that's what I came up with and it came out real quick but the main thing is you got to have you got to make sure <clears throat> that your chisel your screwdriver whatever is blunt enough that it's gonna fit just tight in this check valve which mine did with no play <clears throat> and people say that they have a big old screwdriver now this is a uh, about two feet long screwdriver square you know it's a big old bastard <clears throat> and if you try to use it which I did you can if you could hear maybe the slop in it and if you do that and you put a lot of pressure <clears throat> it's gonna cam out it's gonna pop out and it's gonna mar and it's gonna strip that that threading <clears throat> so you know this chisel screwdriver tip I made <clears throat> if I wiggle it you can't hear any play in it so anyways, uh, I know people, they sell these tools for like $30 online, but if you can go down to Home Depot or something, buy a chisel, maybe take a wrench that has a hexagonal half inch chisel. If you have a bench grinder, just grind down the tip until it fits. I, like I said, I grinded it down about four or five times. And I'll test fit it, and then if it had slop, grind it down a little bit more, 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 until it didn't have any slop. Beat on a um, half-inch socket, and then my adapter for my uh, impact driver. <clears throat> like that. And uh, gave it a few quick little turns. And uh, it loosened it right up. 
So if you don't want to fit, you don't want to spend forty bucks. Maybe look at buying something like this hexagonal. Get a cheapy thing adapter impact. If you have an air compressed impact wrench or something, it'll work as well. But but if you look right here, you can see how blunt I made it. It's uh oh maybe uh an eighth of an inch or three eighths of an inch. But yeah, your biggest screwdriver, it won't work. Even though it might be a big bastard, the problem is is having the tip. Uh, blunt enough so it'll fit in the slot where it fits uh, secure with no uh, slop in it so for those of you I know I've seen people that that use the a file and a wrench if you don't have the money to spend like 40 bucks maybe buy one of these and uh, if you have a bench grinder grind it down till there's no tolerance in it and it fits very snug and uh, take you a little wrench, and if you can find a hexagonal, and then beat a beat a fucking socket on top till it's tight. Use an adapter on an impact wrench, impact driver, maybe a drill if you got <clears throat> if you got a good drill, and uh, it might work. So hope that helps. Trying to save you guys some money so you don't got to spend, you know, forty bucks. It worked for me, so uh, I still have other problems I gotta work through but on, on my my lantern. But um, that's what I came up with, and I've seen a lot of reviews and this, and people saying, "Well, buy the tool, don't buy it. Make this, make that." And uh, just so happened that this this worked perfect for me, and I have to buy anything. But if you have an extra forty, and if you're a lantern rebuilder enthusiast then uh, it might be worth it to buy the tool but i just bought a lantern online and uh you know i'm just trying to get it up and running i'm not trying to fix a bunch of lanterns if i were if i were into that hobby and i was trying to fix up a bunch of lanterns then i'd probably purchase the tool but you know for me this is a free tool just because i had this laying around most most definitely you you know you have this and if you have an impact driver you might have the adapter and that but you could build this for maybe 20 bucks if you already have most of the parts the chisel might be like 10 bucks but um anyways it worked for me now i'm on to fix uh whatever it is wrong with mine because it's not the check valve it's something else so <clears throat> Take care and uh let me see and uh fuck this little piece of shit. This is a nightmare. So fuck this little bastard. Anyways, take care. That's my rant. And uh if you found it useful, uh comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. If you have another tool that you've made, uh, that'd be cool. Some input. And uh, that's it. Peace.